Hey guys, welcome to episode number 399. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. Today I wanted to compare the differences between a T12, a T8, a T5, and an LED strip light. Now, these probably look familiar to you, but if you haven't seen them before, this right here is a T12. It's called a T12 because it's 12 eighths of an inch in diameter. Um, then here we have a T8, that's eight eighths of an inch or one inch in diameter. And here's a T5, five eighths of an inch. So that's where the numbers come from, from those types of lights. And uh, this is what they look like in comparison to one another in terms of size. Um, T12s are obviously the oldest type of bulb. I don't even think they make them anymore. T8s are pretty common, uh, especially if they were installed within the last, I don't know, five years or so. And anyone that's growing plants, especially indoors, is probably utilizing T5s at this point. Um, the purpose of this video, though, is to compare all of those lights to the LED lights that are now coming onto the market and are actually pretty competitive in terms of price and performance. So what I wanted to do was quickly walk through this chart so we can compare wattage, lumens, number of hours, and ultimately what you're going to spend. So as you would expect, the T12 performs the worst. Um, it takes 40 watts. It gives you around 2,600 lumens, which is 65 lumens per watt. You get 24,000 hours out of it. The bulb itself, they're really cheap because you know no one uses them anymore. Um, and then the running cost is 482 per year for a total of 782 for one year of operation plus purchase, or over a 20 year time span, it would cost you $100 to operate that. Um, now, that assumes uh, a three hour per day use at, I believe, 11 cents per kilowatt hour. All right, comparing that to the T8, obviously we've got a drop in wattage. We also have an increase in lumens. That means we have an increase in lumens per watts, which is a good thing. The number of hours actually goes down a little bit. The cost of the bulb is more expensive, but it costs less to run it. Overall, it's a little bit more expensive um, in the short term over the T12, but over the long term, you save money. Moving on down to the T5s. Again, these are a little bit newer and they come in two varieties. You've got the regular T5s at around 28 watts. And this, this is all based on a four foot light, by the way, um, 28 watts versus T5 high output which is specifically designed for like growing plants uh, at 54 watts. You've got 20, 2,900 lumens and 5,000 lumens respectively for those. Um, obviously, if you're using high output lights, you could probably use less of them because of this. They both last for around 20,000 hours. Uh, the bulbs themselves are about $6 a piece, maybe a little bit more expensive if you get a high output light. And uh, per year, um, the T5 is running you 340. Um, that's primarily because it's lower wattage and the high output is actually running you 650 a year. So there's a considerable difference here. Um, if you're looking for just a regular light, maybe just to light an aquarium, uh, you know, a regular T5 might be better. But if you're looking to grow plants, um, you know, it's going to cost you a little bit more money over the long run, but you are getting more lumens out of that. All right, and then when we jump over to LED, you can see the difference. So we're all the way down to 8 watts. Um, it's basically sold as a 32 watt replacement, but it, it only uses 18 watts, uh, which is 111 uh, lumens per watt. We got a 2000 lumen light. The number of lumens isn't great compared to like a, a T5 light of the same or even a T8 light of the same size. Um, so they are a little bit more dim, but they last more than twice as long. Uh, the cost is a little bit more per bulb, seven or eight dollars per bulb. 
But here's the real difference. You save a ton of money over the long term, only 205 per year to run these. So 905 for the first year, and then over 20 years, only $48. So you compare that $48 um, to you know a regular T5 at $74 or a T8 at $82, and uh, that's where you start to see the real savings in terms of cost. But if you're interested in the equation to figure out how much a bulb is going to cost you to run per year, essentially you're looking at your watts for your light divided by a thousand and then you multiply that by the number of hours that light is going to be on in a given day times 365 days in a year times whatever it costs uh, for your kilowatt hours in uh, from your electric company and that will give you essentially that operating cost there so as you can see what's going to cost you the most money up front and over time right now are the T5 high outputs at 12.50 a pop and 136 over 20 years and um, comparatively your LED lights first year 905 versus a T8 is 885 you're actually saving a little bit of money and you're really saving money over the long term so that's sort of a quick breakdown of lighting options for above your aquariums, uh, shop lights, whatever else you want to do. Uh, this is what they look like and uh, if you haven't already, you should definitely go check out some LED lights, look at the cost, look at the lumens, um, and compare for yourself because it's just about time for everyone to switch over, I think, to LEDs. Um, one other big benefit is all of these lights contain mercury uh, and these ones don't. So you have to dispose of these properly. So anyways guys, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been waiting for LEDs to drop in price so that comparatively the math makes sense. And I think we're right about at that time. Um, the price is competitive, they last twice as long. You know, they're, they don't put off quite as much light, but uh, they use a lot less energy in the long run. So anyways, that's the quick review. That's what they look like. Those are all the numbers. Again, these are all estimates. These are all averages. Um, none of this is hard and fast. I'm sure you can find a bulb that doesn't fit into uh, to this uh, chart, but uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is accurate. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.